Welcome to this Solid Edge podcast, bringing you quick and easy tips and tricks from the experts. Working top down on an assembly is a great way of ensuring fit and function as you develop new components. But having access to all assembly level construction tools such as reference planes and sketches is essential. Not all systems allow you to access assembly level reference planes while you work on a part. In Solid Edge, pressing the shift key while clicking a higher level reference plane modifies its action, allowing you to select them wherever you are in the assembly structure. Here's how. In this electric shaver I want to model a bracket to support the motor. If I expand the reference planes tree in the assembly pathfinder you can see I have several planes I have used to set out the assembly and position various components. Here are two that could be useful for modelling the bracket. I'll add the feature to an existing part. By in place activating to the switch plate you can see that I'm working on a part within a sub-assembly a couple of levels deep. Here's the two assembly level reference planes visible from the component. I cannot select them by default, but holding down the shift key as I select the reference plane allows me to select it and places me in the correct orientation. To quickly draw the profile, I'll use the slot command. I change the intelligent extent options to from to. Firstly, I select the face on the part to start the new feature from and select the top reference plane to extend the feature to, remembering to hold the shift key as I select the plane. As you can see, by using reference planes available in the assembly, I was able to ensure the support was correctly positioned and fits within the assembly. To learn more, visit us at solidedge.com or call your local channel partner.